Welcome back folks, so let's play Star Trek Armada 2. Hopefully command. today we can actually set out to do some more stuff with our ships and we can finally I destroy a few of these species of two buildings that are a thorn Lay in our side. Course. I'm Better not sure stations. what building was this here. Yeah. Oh, that's a mine, okay. Let's try to scout out a little bit. Standing by. And um, we we can't can't um, continue this the normal way because we have to take out the um, the ships quite quickly, or rather the production buildings quite quickly, if we really want to survive. I suppose something has just given us metal, indeed. Prepare the, the cargo ship was just here. Lovely. Alter course. So let's scout more. The incursion is uh, doing a really good job. At giving us some map information here. Activate very, very important to have that. Status report. Let's repair this. Find the nearest shipyard. And also let's set the exit point for all these good things. To there. Now we don't have that much more dilithium really, so we need to make sure that we have or we'll make use of what we have. Really. stations. By your command. So if this ball cube is finally repaired, we're going to repair it completely, crew-wise as well. We require okay, let you. L would you let him go through there, please? Vessel Thank construction you. complete. Unassimilated species engaged. We will adapt. Okay. Looking good so far. By your command. By your command. Okay, we need one more cube. And then we should be okay for the time being. Vessel construction complete. All right. Now let's get every cube we repaired. Regeneration. And get this galaxy class ship All a little bit more back. We will adapt. This uh, technology that's preventing outcomes. us from moving is quite bad for us. Additional technology acquired. Because for some reason they, well, they tend to attack almost Activate at the same time we've been moving into repair. Which is not a we bad thing. Because, well, they can't really do much. But, um... Activate it's kind of annoying all always going back for repair if we're already repaired and doing that and that. Whoa! Huge army up there. Huge, huge army. All Let's get these guys back a little bit. Let's increase shield Once we have enough resource, uh, not enough resource, but enough ball cubes out there that can actually do something, like after they've been repaired and all that good stuff, we are finally um, able to we do this properly. Or should be, anyway. The shield should be up quite soon. So we have a little bit of an edge here, then. And they still have heading. lots and lots of ships. Battle stations standing by. And we should probably also increase engine speed up by this. Because I suppose it might be going for Rip Vader pretty soon. Adapt. Assigning designations. Enemy engaged. We're gonna move out then. To sector. Relocate to grid. And we could repair we this cube. Regeneration. We're gonna take him out of the group. We move to Respeta. Because as I remember correctly, Relocate. they should be moving in for Rift Beta quite soon. I want required. to be able to be there before the ships of the By species actually command. arrive there would be a horrible course. thing to happen if they just take over the rift Proceed. and we are done then. would be quite, quite bad. The now let's go attack. for engines for now, so we can move a little bit faster. Relocate. We, serve the we have weapons level 3, so Assume we should have an advantage here, weapons-wise. We serve the collective. Well, now our engines are disabled, but that's okay still. Shields. Unassimilated species engaged. Proceed. We serve the collective. Still continue this way. Understood. We serve the collective. Commence attack. 
Yeah, those ships are more dangerous than the Sentinel up there. Ships can do command. lots and lots of hurting. Proceed if we're not sector. prepared for this. We serve the collective. Relocate. Yep. Careful. Careful. They can take out lots of cubes we if we're not adapt. careful here. And I wonder where all these ships come from, honestly. It's not like they can produce like a bajillion ships at the same Proceed. time, can they? We have they? located the Riftmaker. Destroy her, and the rifts will collapse. Okay. We will adapt. The collective so let's move is under attack. attack. Outside of whatever is shooting us here. Proceed. Additional technology Where's the acquired. Oil? Unassimilated species engaged. That's a big ship here. Proceed. Proceed to sector. By your command. Please stop shooting my cubes. Please. Relocate to grid. Abort. Activate all alcoves. By your command. The collective is under attack. Researching additional technology. Uh, can that thing shoot? I suppose it can. Our subspace but sensors have intercepted species 8472 communications, indicating a fleet headed towards Rift Beta. Initiating vessel construction. Right, let's build three more. Oh, beautiful ships here. Standing by. Have a look at this thing. Standing by. I wonder if it really can shoot. Can it be taken over by the Ball Queen's diamond? That's we what serve I want to the know. collective. Could be. Hmm. Might just come from the north and take Vessel it over. Or complete. just take it out by coming from the north. They're just two sentinels here. I hope it's just not shooting like Activate increased damage or something like that. That would be horrible. Okay, we're gonna wait for the fleet to come to Rift Gamma, to Rift Beta. We serve the Again, we're gonna set out and resources. try to destroy the Rift Maker. Maybe that will actually end the mission already. I'm not sure. Let's get these cubes back home so they don't end up dying. By your command. We serve the collective. Abort. Proceed to sector. Let's get these two cubes north. Uh, oh, we don't have enough dilithium. That's cool. <laughs> we have completed a mission objective. All right. Activate all alcohol. Now these are the, the final cubes that attack. I probably have. Proceed to so sector. Let's get them north, shall we? Your command. Relocate. Let's not get in range of anything that can shoot us or kill us. We will adapt. Just go north, guys. Just go north. Unassimilated species engaged. Oh, the mine is not actually getting to us that f that quickly. That's good. Additional technology. Whoa, there's acquired. a mothership. Okay, we take it will out. Adapt. We do have enough firepower to take it out. Lost By one cube, but that's command. okay. Relocate Destroy the mothership. We which is also quite an achievement. Yeah, I do like achievements, so yeah! One achievement done, just it. Activate all alcoves. Let's build a sensor Confirmed. right here. We will adapt. Hopefully this rift maker is really not that strong as it looks. I'm hoping that. I not don't know the it per se. Under attack. So we might just get horribly killed. Vessel construction complete. Unassimilated species engaged. We serve the right. collective. Let's go south through this sector. beautiful green nebula. Proceed to sector. Can we do some more research? She is probably too much. Senses is too much. Senses. Activate all alcoves. We serve the collective. Oh my god, Relocate this thing is horribly overpowered. Proceed to sector. Uh, guys, move. Commence attack. 
Well, that actually goes down pretty fast. Oh, it can't see us now. That is that is awesome. Yes. We have destroyed the Rift Maker. Now we must leave fluidic space before the rifts collapse. Indeed. So let's do that. Oh my God. Oh. I can't believe I've done this actually. You queen. Now that we have defeated Species 8472 and closed the dimensional rift, it seems that the time to terminate our alliance is rapidly approaching. I have already contacted Starfleet, and an armada is en route to escort you to the transwarp portal. Once you are back in the Delta Quadrant, it will be destroyed. And make no mistake about it, any further attempt made by the Borg to establish a foothold in the Alpha Quadrant will be... What you are so fond of saying, futile. Your species so thrives on emotion, Picard. It is one of your many flaws. But you should not think of us as your enemy. Think of us as your savior. We shall save you from yourselves. The Borg will come again to the Alpha Quadrant, Picard. It is inevitable. Perhaps, but we will be prepared for you. And I can assure you that this flawed species has a few more surprises left in store for you. For now, though, enjoy your journey back to the Delta Quadrant. The next time our paths cross, it shall be as enemies. Picard out. So, Captains and Captainesses, this was Star Trek Armada 2, and I really think this game had lots of different improvements compared to the first game. First off, it had a better system of floating up and down, which I definitely liked. Although, of course, in the campaign it doesn't make a lot of a difference, but I'm not sure about multiplayer. There might be a little bit of a more strategic play in multiplayer that you can actually employ that you can't in the campaign really. But I see the benefits of that, definitely. They made a little bit of an improvement graphics wise. It did actually I think bar Patrick Stewart, although I definitely like Picard, but I think all the other well main narrators of the campaigns they were better than than Stuart in this game. I'm not sure why. It just feels like, like Martok, the the actor of Martok, is really into this. Um, having a female voice like Alice Creech is definitely a good thing. As the Ball Queen and all that good stuff came really into play here. I think although I think Stuart just delivered a good job, but definitely not a stellar one. But the voice acting was really good. The graphics were were absolutely fantastic for the time and they came out at least for a strategy game where you can zoom in and zoom out and have different things on the screen and battle them. The effects were actually quite good where the explosions and all that good stuff. The sound was I think absolutely fantastic at least when you hear all those, those sounds when they shoot things and they, the explosions and the, the actual sound effects when they shoot lasers and torpedoes. They, they all were pretty well done. I would suppose. The story was actually fine, I think, because you had a very big imminent threat of the Borg in the first campaign, and then it turns out that, oh gosh, it's not the Borg that's the big threat, but actually Species A472, which is the big, ah, oh, we have to bind together in alliance threat, and you have to work together to defeat this threat. Of course it was pretty cheesy, well, because Federation and Borg, we've never seen them work together, have we? So, yeah, it was a new territory they walked in. I think some people didn't, maybe didn't like the idea of the Borg and the Federation working together. 
especially because of Picard having further um, having previous experiences in being assimilated and meeting the Bull Queen and in first contact and so on. So I think the story was good. The act, uh, the voice actors were good, graphics were good, sound were good. I think what they could have improved a little bit on was maybe the actual missions. I mean, it sometimes feels like, okay, um, destroy that, destroy that, destroy that. They could have maybe mixed in a few different ones, I suppose, especially in the ball campaign, although I liked the first uh, mission in the ball campaign where you just have to assimilate ships and try to, to get some resources so you don't have to fight all these good things. But um, yeah, other than that, I think they could have mixed in a few different missions here and there from time to time. So, this is the game you all wanted. I did it. I hope you are glad that I did it, because I definitely am glad. Because it's one game out of the way that actually was on my list, but maybe not entirely now, but I did it anyway, because I think this game is worth doing. And it just is worth showing all those good people out there that this game has actually has its merits. And although many just look at games nowadays and say, Bah, graphics are so bad and ah, oh, horrible. I think that sometimes you need to step over your shadow to get to know a game that you might actually enjoy if you just play the first few hours and so on. I think Amada and Amada 2 are actually games that really entice the gamer to to play on because you want to see more ships, more technology, more different um, kind of missions where you can employ these these different technologies and such some such. So I think Amada needs a little bit of time to really develop its flair that it has. And I gave it the chance back then and I'm glad I did it. So since the credits are still rolling um, I want to go on about a little bit of Star Trek related stuff. I mean there have been a few questions about whether I'm doing maybe Star Trek waiting and I just want to go into that really quick. I think the game is actually pretty... well I haven't played much of it really. I have to admit that I have a DVD uh, no DVD, CD at home here, which is unfortunately the German version though, I might be looking for, for someone who can get me the English one though, because um, I don't like to do German games in the uh, English commentary I do, so that probably would work out that well. Um, yeah, but um, I think Star Trek Away Team is definitely a game I could have a look at at some point in time. I can't be doing it right away because, as I said, I don't have the English version available. But I will be looking into that myself. And maybe I'll find a way to do it. And yeah, I think it might be a good choice because it's a game I've never really played before. Maybe one mission or two. That's about it. I don't remember much of it though. So I do know you, you train a squad of people and basically do the same thing you were looking do in commandos basically. Just try to get your team out and defeat the, the enemy and uh, hey Bobby Kotick by the way. Um, and try to to do certain mission objectives as far as I've seen. I can't really say more than that because I just played two missions of it. But it seems like a nice game. And I will look into the possibility of doing that at some point. Yeah, what's there to say other than that? Yeah, thanks for everyone who, and thanks to Gene Rodberry, by the way, for this beautiful uh, lore-wise environment of Star Trek. You're, you're the guy. Um, where was I? Oh yes, uh, thanks everyone for watching it, of course, because I put my heart into these games and I really think I, I try to do my best. Sometimes I come off maybe a little bit tired or bored. Well, that's just because I, I came home late and try to do these videos for you. and I, I try to do my best, really. And sometimes it's 
just not happening to the best of my abilities. So, sorry about that sometimes. But I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did enjoy it, although some missions, as I said before, are a little bit tedious and a little bit hard on my nerves to just like do five, six, seven times over and over again. But people have to take it, people can take it, and I hope you enjoyed it all. And since the credits are repeating now, um, I'll be signing off, and I will see you guys on the next LP that's coming up. And I can tell you something gonna be wonderful because I love this game and hope you keep watching so see you then folks and ahead with warp speed Dark Arrhenius signing out ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Activate a small episode of let's play Star Trek Armada 2 the reason for that being Someone kind of reminded me, hey, you totally forgot to show us the fusion cube in the set. No, I didn't. I said, yes, he did. I said, let me look it up. I said, like, ooh, you're absolutely right, actually. I totally forgot about that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the fusion cube in action. And for that, we will need to get this cube over there. Let's let it go north though first. We have shield. Researching additional technology. Status Galaxy report. class out there is not a good thing. We serve the collective. We will adapt. And to do this, we need to build a technology assimilator, we which was not started yet. So, and to finance this, I'm going to disassemble engaged. these two buildings here and the Federation Star Base. Decommission commencing. Because I need the the lithium right now, which I don't have, unfortunately. I think actually I'm the not getting that many lithium out of this anyway, but I need to. No matter what. I still need the lithium, and I probably will. Eh, actually, my this is okay. We serve the collective. Activate all alcoves. Let's get these guys we over here. We serve the collective. And then this is done. We will adapt. Let's Relocate to grid. The, the collective is under uh, attack. That's one cube too many. By your command. All right. Technology Assimilator must research the collective technology. technology. And once we've done that, researching additional technology. We can go this cube fusion. And we can initiate the fusion of two fusion cubes. Yeah. The collective is under attack. Unassimilated species engaged. So we now have two fusion cubes on their way to the rift maker. To grid. Gonna leave Proceed the last tactical cube here. By your command. Just in case species 8472 decides to attack us anyway. We serve the collective. We're not that fast with these cubes, Activate mind you. All alcoves. But we should be able to take out everything we that species 8472 throws at us. The is the under being anyway. Activate so all let's scout alcoves. a little bit with our little ship stations. Our subspace sensors have intercepted species 8472 communications indicating a fleet headed towards Rift Beta. Relocate to Grid. Yeah, we need to be very fast now to do this properly. Additional technology acquired. We a little bit more sensor adapt. range here. Yeah. We serve the collective. We're going into the nebula just like before. We serve the collective. Because I don't want to lose these fusion Relocate. cubes by accident. Relocate by your command. Proceed by your command. We will adapt. And now we're we going to move serve just the collective. Down. The collective Come is on. under attack. Come on, guys. Assimilated species engaged. 
By your command. Move it. Proceed. Relocate. I think they're gonna get shot to pieces. Proceed. By your command. No, they're not. This time I'm gonna destroy the rift maker. Quite easily. We have destroyed the rift maker. Yep. Now we must leave fluidic space before the rifts collapse. Now we can see how powerful these fusion cubes really are. And hopefully that was entertaining enough. And Ball I will queen. see you guys now on the next LP. So, see you then, folks.